Welcome to Australia. Ah, thanks. I feel like Batman here, Cal. Yeah, it's not the best look. <laughs> There's miles of coastline in Australia, but so much access to water means so much opportunity for crossover with some of Australia's most dangerous creatures. Everyone knows about the great white shark and the crocodiles, but arguably Australia's most deadly creatures are less well known, the jellyfish. And at this time of the year, it's the stinger season. I want to see which species to most look out for and where they live. My first point of call is world famous Bondi Beach. And who better to find more about the types of stingers in the region than the Bondi Rescue lifesavers. Hey Jack, how are you? How's it going? Yeah, good. Tourists from overseas, they've been stung and it's a jellyfish and they think they're going to die in about five minutes. I think there's some blue bottles here. You might be in luck. There we go, our first jellyfish, the blue bottle. You pick them up, they sting you still. To pick up a blue bottle, you're okay picking up from the top, but don't touch the sting of the thing dragging down. Touch that, that's going to be extremely painful. We get little kids playing in the sand and see them and they grab them. Yeah, I think it's just over the Stings yeah. the shit out of their hands. <laughs> they're uh, venomous, but they're not deadly. The worst day for us is when there are blue bottles and we're going in to do rescues knowing that, well, you're saving someone's life but you're always you're getting stung at the same time. So, you know, it's a, <laughs> a hazardous job. The blue bottle jellyfish are common in and around the waters of Sydney. They can sting you, but they are certainly not going to be deadly. To find out which jellyfish species can be dangerous, I have to venture up north. I'm heading for Palm Cove in far north Queensland, where I've heard that a tiny but deadly box jellyfish called Irukandji live. The first thing you want to do when you arrive here is jump in the sea. Oh, there's two species of jellyfish in these waters that are particularly dangerous to people, the Irukandji and the box jellyfish. This is lifeguard Kel, his daily routine each morning is to keep these beaches safe from jellyfish. And today, I'm joining him to see if we can find any. First, I need protection. I've got a little stinger suit of your own, so welcome to Australia. Ah, thanks. <laughs> I feel like Batman here, Carl. Yeah, it's not the best look. <laughs> <laughs> we need to pull this big net through the waters, filtering out any jellyfish coming through. The species of jellyfish that we could come across is the Irukandji a tiny jellyfish that unlike the blue bottles we found in Sydney, these ones are dangerous. If we do find any, we will need to shut down the beach for the day. Okay, so now we want to um, empty out the tube into our sample bucket to see what we've caught. There's one in here, it must be quite hard to see it. Yeah, really difficult to see in this water and in the light you might be able to see their outline and the shadow in the bucket. Well, I don't think I can see anything there, Cal. I think, yeah, we're lucky. It's the only type of fishing where we don't want to catch anything. Yeah, okay, <laughs> so, that's good. Uh, so no catch is a, is a good thing. Today, no Irukandji. Good thing for the tourists, but for me, I'm curious to see just how tiny these jellyfish are. Luckily, Kel has caught one earlier. I've got wow, a couple that's of the Irukandji there? Yeah, I've got Man. a couple of samples we've caught previously. You would never know if that was in the water. So the stingers on just on the little tail bits there. Well, in the Irukandji, unlike other jellyfish, they've actually got little stinging cells on their head as well as on their tentacles. The stinging cells deliver a potent venom that is extremely painful and can cause heart failure. But its toxin also has an unusual psychological side effect called the Irukandji syndrome. As they say, it's a pending sense of doom. They feel like they're gonna die. It's a really horrible feeling. Unlike the harmless blue bottle jellyfish, the more potent venom of the Irukandji puts it among the most deadly jellyfish in the world. But luckily sting cases are very rare each year because these lifeguards are here to spot any threats on the horizon. 
Well, we've not found any Irukandji today, which is a good thing. It shows that Cal's doing an amazing job of doing these drags every morning to keep these beaches safe from the potentially deadly Irukandji jellyfish.